these are the snow geese that we talked earlier. Um, these are the invasive birds that come in our rice field and, and other field actually and destroy pretty much a lot of our crop uh, um, during the time they're staying here, which mainly is uh, January, February, and uh, some of March. This is the uh, the younger bird, when you can see it's got a little bit more gray, and as they get older, they turn white, just like this one here. So, and they can eat, I can tell you that, for sure. So anyway, we're going to show you, and actually these birds are very good to eat too, and we can make a very nice little dish with it, in a very quick way. So, uh, let's go to work. All right. The quickest way, of course, is to go there, and uh, you don't want to go there and, and pluck the bird, but um, you can definitely go there and skin the bird. in a very quick way. When that's done, take your knife, pretty much, and you can lift up You can see them these little brass. Pretty neat right there. You can see this is a, a nice portion, probably a five to six ounce uh, close to it in a beautiful red meat there. So these don't take long at all and you can really do this pretty quickly actually in a field if you want to have a nice sharp knife and then go there and just harvest the breast because really that's a uh, the nice beautiful part of the bird right here so you have beautiful pieces of a uh, of a uh, uh, meat here the next step is really you go there and you get the the the, the, the legs also which is another nice part of the uh, of the meat. Cut the feet off, and then you can literally go there and remove his legs in a matter of no time, and still having clean. And here we go. So that's another nice little part of the of the bird here, which you can easy do and clean. Now you see all the bird feather and even the guts still in place. Here we go. He's a, a little toughy bird. Now here, the knife, quickly, and then here you go. You got the full measure part of the bird. And now you can take this and dispose this. You don't need it no longer. Okay, now we're going to take the uh, the, the breast and we're going to close these Kind of it a little bit, make it like you see, beautiful, nice. As I said, natural protein. That's natural protein, right there. Simple. Easy. Perfect. Here we go. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to focus on that skillet. First, we're going to put an olive oil. What we want to do is to keep this very healthy. Remember what I said earlier. These are natural protein, and we're going to keep it as a natural protein as 
best we can. So a little olive oil. Now what we're going to do here is season our geese breast, tonies, or any Creole seasoning, and a little bit of sugar, you see? So we're going to have that wild game really tasting good. Turn it in a hot skillet. Again. Here we go. Now, once again, we're going to season the other side. And I'm going to show you how easy and simple a great meal can be done. And again, sugar. Here we go. Now, it's really nice. Really nice. So we're going to get it golden brown on the both sides. We're going to add up a little bit of onions. To make it nice, give it extra flavor. A little bit of garlic. Some parsley. And we're going to try to golden brown all of this nicely beautiful as we can. As you can see, and this is going to get golden brown and hungry. Now what we're going to use on this, actually what we're going to put on is a little bit of fresh berries of your choice. And we're going to do, uh, uh, like for instance, what I have here, a little bit of raspberry, blackberry, grapes, you can use strawberries, anything that you can actually get your hand on to make it even healthier because, you know, fresh fruit is very important to anybody's diet. So, but we have to wait, first of all, that this is going to brown, as you can see, it's getting some good color over here. And, of course, what we're going to use a little bit of wine and deglaze it with wine. So. All right. Now we have the brown part of it. It's good. We're going to put our berries into it. And deglaze it with wine. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now what we're going to do now is to cook this for another 10 minutes and we'll show you how we're going to plate this out. Now when it start boiling like this, I got my wine, my berries, we're going to cover it up over here like this and I turn the, the heat medium and then cook it up for a good 20 minutes. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do here is after 10 minutes, we're going to cook and turn it over again, all right, and then we're going to cover it up again and wait another 10 minutes. Okay, now let's look at this. Okay, we think now that it's ready. You can see the sauce from the reduction of the wine, the berries melted. So it's a nice natural juice with red wine and natural protein. What a meal, what a meal. Let's go and plate it. All right, now we have little mashed potatoes over here. And we're gonna put nice two little breasts per serving. And of course, there is many things that you can do actually on on these is to be able to make a stew out of it but I, I prefer this this is really nice over here and it's so tasty when it's done so you know here it is you got you here a great meal you know that's going to be wonderful so let's do the tasting on this now what we have here, and the, the most important thing to do with, with um, um, you know, cooking wild game is to make sure that it's always cooked done, always. Don't try to adventure yourself in eating anything medium rare. So let's look at what we have here. Now you see how nice and tender this is over here already and how nice the meat is. I mean, this is really absolutely incredible. Let me show you the 
the protein again. You see that? That's beautiful, isn't it? That's perfect. That's what you want. So, but a little of a of a berry here with the piece of meat and a little bit of mashed potatoes with a with a sauce and let's try this out. Mm, mm, mm. I guarantee you when you have a meal like that, I mean you will pay forty, fifty dollars in a nice fast star restaurant to have a chef prepare you a, a goose breast with a berries and a reduction of wine. This is delicious. And again, this is an invasive species. So if you can't beat them, eat them.